Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, two minute pep talk today about relationships. Now I just want to point something out here. Have you ever noticed that when you're arguing with your partner that um, you literally physically feel repulsed by them? So if you have a big blue with your partner and you go to bed that night, you know, you're lying next to them, but you don't want to lie next to them. And it's almost like every cell of your body is feeling, <laughs> yeah, and you want to push them away and you feel like, oh my God, get away from here. You wake up in the morning and your partner comes close to you and you can feel this desire to just get away from them, you know, and your partner feels the same thing. Now, when this occurs, when we fight with someone or when we argue with someone that we love, and it's a great sign that we do love them. When we argue or fight with someone that we love, we feel this desire to push it away in our lives. And it actually happens on a cellular level. So you cellularly push people and repel people away from you, and you feel repulsed by things that are not aligned with what makes you feel a sensation of love. Same happens the opposite way, the opposite way around. When you're in love with someone, you feel this desire to be close to them, you feel attracted to them, you feel this desire to want to, to have them in your life, to feel as if you know they're there for you. And then when you're around them, you feel this sense of completeness and wholeness, and you feel this bond and this sense of connection. Now, did you know that when you go out with someone or when you marry someone, <coughs> you don't actually marry the person, you marry their value systems and you marry your ability and the alignment of your value systems. So to maintain a really strong relationship, what you need to do is you need to understand what the shared values are between you and your partner. And you gotta make sure that with those shared values, you're living them as often as you possibly can. On top of this, you also need to know what the values of your partner are that are not uh, uh, totally your values but that you when you look at your partner living those values it seems to bring vitality and energy to them they f seem to feel inspired and complete so your job as a partner <coughs> is to make sure that your partner also lives their own individual values and also to make sure that you communicate to your partner your values <laughs> and when you communicate to your partner your values you got to make sure that you live your values and you don't abandon your values to be with the partner because that's the reason why relationships break up. So, quick message was this. Make sure you understand what your partner's values are. Make sure you communicate to your partner your values and make sure that you understand what uh, your shared values are because the shared values are what help you to actually live your relationship. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.